More balloons into the town hall. There's the tornado trap. We're spinning in circles. Stars. We got a lava hound on the right side of the base. Stars, the town hall. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the beginning of the Queso Cup playoffs. Only eight teams in the world remain. And today, we're taking a look here at one of the round one matchups. We got Navi versus Chaz Mac EA live here today in the quarterfinals of the upper bracket. This is going to be exciting. It is 7 a.m. Saturday morning. I woke up way too early to stream this tournament, but let's do it. Let's do it. Gaku is in with the first attack here for Navi. Coming in with a little queen charge. Lalo. We get to see the player webcams down below as well. So this is going to be so exciting. That queen's in trouble. Oh! Rip. Dude, the queen just died through the ability. Oh, this is not a good start for Navi. Healers are switching over to the king. Oh, jeez. Dude, that rage tower is no joke. Expos were doing double damage. Queen pops ability with the auto ability. It's unreliable. The giant bomb kills her through ability, it looked like. Oh, gosh. King already used his ability. Phoenix brings him back to life. He's just going to go ahead and lolo from the top side with the warden ability. Now, just so you guys know, they are not letting us, the... Uh, streamers and content creators into the clans so we're using a clean feed here which basically means i'm not the cameraman so i have no idea how they're going to be zooming around the map and stuff so don't blame me if they do something weird battle blimp for the town hall rage ta rage spell on the top side but my gosh this is fizzling out for gaku oh this is not the start we wanted to see for navi champion on the south side of the base here with some headhunters but there's a lava hound in defense at this point, he's just got to try to pick up as much percent as possible. Completely ignore the core. Pick up percent around the outside of the base. Champion goes down here. We got an invis spell, but he didn't even use it to help her out. He didn't use his haste. He didn't use a freeze. What is going on, Gaku? Oh, rip the homie. That's unfortunate. Very low percent attack for Navi to start this match off today. And Chasmac EA... The solid chance to take an early lead if they can capitalize on this and get a three star. How much percent can he pick up? A couple more buildings. He invises his archer just to get an extra army camp, and I think that's all he can get. 65% for Gaku. Super unfortunate start, but we'll see if the other members of Navi can help carry the team today. Iroya is in with the first attack for Chaz Mac EA. Let's see what he's got for us here today. Early Warden Blum. With a headhunter. Ooh, juicy. Bloom. Making its way. How far? Is he going all the way for the town hall? Of course he is. He's got super archers in there, I think, with the double clone setup. First invis spell. Wait for the wall breakers to die. Second invis spell. Double clone. Rage. Third invis spell. He's handling it perfect so far. Fourth invis. He's still got two more. Gonna pick up the town hall here. Did his warden die to headhunters? Yes, I believe so. Down goes the town hall. Can he get the eagle? Can he get the multi as well? There's a lot of super archers still there. Does he even pick up the scatter shot? No more invis. Scatter. Oh, is it on one HP, bro? That scatter's so low, but scatter stays up. He did pick up that left inferno and pre-trigger the rage tower, but these expos are doing double damage right now. It's no joke. Already sitting the champion from the lower left side of the base. Okay. Oh, she runs into skeleton traps as well. No invis spell, no free spell to help her out. She's going to lose so much HP on this scatter shot section. He should have just already popped her ability and take out the scatter before she even starts working on the skellies. That would have been better for her health. Here we go with the little baby Lala from the top side as king and queen are getting wrecked on the top side. His queen died. He's not taking out the enemy queen unless Phoenix can get through her. Come on, Phoenix. Come on, Phoenix. What you got? What you got? What you got? Ooh, we get through the queen, but Phoenix goes up, not for the multi. Multi stays up. Champion's getting wrecked. We got an Ice Hound on the right side of the base, but the scatter shot's still up. The Rage Tower with another Inferno Tower on the bottom side. This is fizzling out fast. It looks like we're going to start off this match with two back-to-back -back defenses. Now, the question is, how much percent can Hiroya get? Gaku only got 65%, which was pretty low. But it honestly... Doesn't look like Hiroya is going to get that much better. 71, still climbing, should be able to get above 75. Has a giant, has two more headhunters. Those headhunters aren't going to be able to do much to the king, though. 
with the multi there. Minions on the bottom side. Let's start to count how many can he get. He's got a wizard. He might be able to deploy up top as well. I think the wizard up top for that dark barracks might be the best option. He's going to get at least 78. That minion have enough time to get the DE storage. That would be clutch. He's still thinking about where to drop this wizard. And he drops it for the elixir collector. Okay. Down goes the elixir collector. Can the wizard even help take the storage? Yes. So that might have actually been the best spot if he can take the storage in time for 80%. That wizard does a lot of damage. Six, five, four, three, two, just in time for the 80% and Chaz EA with a small percentage lead. Stars is in the Lalo God himself. With some Lalo, with the clone spell, five invisibilities, okay. Let's see what he can do here today against equals base. He's got an E-Titan as well. What is he doing? He going with the early Warden Blimp? No, not even using the Grand Warden to help assist that blimp. Double sweeper hits, but he manually pops the blimp first. First invis spell. Clone. Rage. Second invis spell. Lots of super archers in there. How much can he get? Third invis. Fourth invis. He got the eagle. CC troops are coming out. This hound could be super annoying. And that's it. That's all he gets. Was it worth it? I bet, uh, I bet he was hoping for that left Inferno Tower as well. This could be a little wonky. But he still has the Warden to use later, so he's still looking to be in good shape. Let's see how much his Sui can get. E-Titan with Queen to help fight these CC troops. E-Titan kills the pups very quickly. Nice. Queen, E-Titan should move left. Looks like he's going to try to Sui into this enemy Queen compartment with a Scattershot. Barbarian King with the Phoenix, of course, to help support going in as well. We still got two Giants. We got an ice golem that we're sending. I guess the giants are going to be for the champion. A couple spring traps going off. We're going to go fight this enemy queen now. Hopefully queen steps inside the wall gap. She'll be able to take out the multi. That'll help shape up even more pathing for the Lalo. Just got to be patient here. Don't rush anything. We got plenty of time on the clock. King with his ability. There we go. Unicorn's still healthy. If we can get the multi before the unicorn dies, that'll help a little bit. King goes back around the outside. Queen goes for the multi. We send the champion from the left side of the base. We're going to Lalo into the Town Hall. Got to be careful with the Rage Tower, man. That multi, the Town Hall, Giga Inferno, they can do a lot of damage while they're raged up. Here we go. Already finding some red bombs. We're going to haste our way toward the Warden Tower through the Tesla farm into the multi. Might be worth another freeze. Might be worth a freeze. Oh, he lost a lot of balloons. Oh, he's got to send more balloons into the multi. A road champion take a lot of damage. Are they not pathing to the multi? They are. They're coming back. We pop ward in a building. Oh, gosh. This is getting sketchy. He goes with an invis for his king. More balloons into the town hall. There's the tornado trap. We're spinning in circles. Stars. We got a lava hound on the right side of the base. Stars. The town hall. No more spell support. The warden drops. The king. The phoenix brings him back to life. What's the HP on the town hall? Is it cameraman zoom in? No. Bro, what the heck is going on? I know it's early for me. I got my coffee. But what time is it in Japan, dude? It's got to be like dinner time or later. Stars doesn't get the town hall. And Navi are in big trouble now. Oh, gosh. How much percent can he pick up? Builder Hut's repairing the town hall. Minions on the top side. Minions on the right side. He's stressing. Oh, jeez. It ends there. Runs out of time at 75%. Rip. Lavi is in against Navi. Let's see what he can do here with a little skelly donut action. Going for the CC building. Going for this monolith. Going for the multi-targeting Inferno Tower. Perfect invis, bro. It almost looks like that invis should cover the CC and make the clan castle building invisible, but it doesn't. It's perfect placement. Down go all three of those structures. Pre-triggers the Rage Tower on the top side. And here we go with the Sui from the left side. Giant with archers. King over there as well. Queen down south over by 8 o'clock. She's going to walk down toward the enemy queen. King, does he go in for the scatter? Uh, he's walking up. That funnel was not set in time. That's actually really awkward. Sends the champion in between. Might have to freeze the scatter or just pop the queen ability now. 
He just has a pop queen ability, bro. You gots to. What are you waiting for? There's the queen ability. Champions in for the scatter shot. Queen takes out the enemy queen. King already went down. Phoenix brings him back to life for a few extra seconds, of course. Champion gets through the scatter, and we're not going to waste any time at all. He's already starting the Lalo on the bottom side of the base here with an Ice Hound with a few balloons. Champion not going to make it all the way to the Eagle like maybe he was expecting. She pops her ability. No invis spells to help her out. The raged up Tesla farm actually does a crap ton of damage. Jeez. And again, we're seeing these raged multis in front of the town hall, and they are tough to lolo through. They are no joke. Has to send more balloons, send headhunters to the king, pops war an ability early, tornado trap is spinning. This is two bases in a row where we're seeing the rage towers in front of the town hall being very effective against lolo. Unfortunately, Stars wasn't even able to get the town hall. La V does. What else can he get? Dragon Rider out of the Stone Slammer, getting wrecked by the champion. We're going to send a Headhunter, but it might be too little too late. That champion stays up. All the balloons on the bottom side are dead. We still got a Haste left over. Use it on the top side and a Giant that he should have used on the Sui. This fizzles apart fast. Another big defense for Na'Vi, and so they still have a chance. They're back in this match. If they triple their next hit and get a third defense, we're going to be all tied up on Stars. And defense is just looking strong so far in this Queso Cup today. Minions on the right side getting absolutely wrecked by the multi. Two more minions on the other side trying to get a gold mine, but I think the eagle kills it. Or does it? Does it get the gold mine in time? No, 77% NT. <clears throat> Bernal is in third attack for Navi today. And he needs to step up to the plate. Navi need him now more than ever to get a three star. Let's see if he can do it with the ooh, Warden Blimp. Oh, he's doing this Warden Blimp Rocket Balloon attack that he was doing in the Itsu Cup earlier. This is going to be fun. Take a look at this. Battle Blimp soaring all the way to the middle of the base. Invis spell. Rage Tower. Invis. Clone. We're just going to absolutely blow up the core of the base. He needs to get the Town Hall with this. Second Rage. Next Invis. Super Archer still not going for this Town Hall. There's another invis. He's only got one left. He's stressing a little bit. They're still not going for the town hall. They go up for the scatter. Oh, geez. All right. Can he recover? If the town hall went down, I'd say this is looking great. That town hall is going to get repaired, too, by raged up builder huts. Oh, geez. Bernal. Rocket Balloons take out the Eagle. King, Queen, over on the left side of the base. Ice Golem hits a Spring Trap, dies so fast. We got no Wall Breakers. So Queen might have to do some weird pathing here. Go all the way around the left side. Not that big of a deal, but can we path to the Town Hall? It's a big question mark. There goes the Champion to help assist. Expo locks onto the Queen. It's going to be doing a lot of damage. Oh, jeez. Come on, Bernal. At least save the two. Maybe Champion could take the Town Hall, but he doesn't have any spells to support. His camera went offline for a second there. Hopefully his Wi-Fi is okay. Popping the King ability. Diggy did stun that Expo. His camera still keeps going offline. Lots of Rocket Balloons on the south side of the base. Trying to push the heroes into the Town Hall. Champion goes to it. Diggy's already dead, so we don't get any stun effect. Queen pops ability. She's not going for that Town Hall. Bernal. Bernal, please. Bernal, send some Rocket Balloons. He does. One more. It's low. Cameraman, what are you doing? Show us the left side of the base, you dingus. Down goes the town hall. Ugh, jeez, bro. Navi is stressing me out today. A few more rocket balloons on the outside of the base. Uh, he's just trying to pick up percent now. Rip. It still ends up getting decent percent. I mean, almost 90. Minion's going to get another two or three buildings here. But you can tell he is not happy. Navi struggling to make anything work so far today the mortar goes down no it doesn't 87 percent yada is in next attack for chasmac ea whistlemore lalo with an e-titan with two clones we're seeing everybody do some some of the same stuff today a lot of super archer blooms today surprisingly here we go warden blimp headhunters are in I was going to say we haven't seen any queen charges yet, but we did see Gaku do it on the first attack. It's just his queen literally died in like the first five seconds. Rip the homie. 
Invis, Double Clone, Rage, Spring Trap, Invis. Come on, give us that Town Hall. Give us that Town Hall. One more Invis. Town Hall secured. What else can he get? Already pulled the Lava Hound toward the south side of the base. He's going to use the last Invis there as well. Thinks he can get a little bit more value. Picks up the CC building. Does he get the Rage Tower because of that? No. Yes, he does. Okay, he picks up the Rage Tower thanks to that last Invis. So, let's say it was worth it. Queen, E-Titan in to fight the Hound. We're going to move to toward the left side of the base. Eagle Artillery's awake. That cannon stayed up as the Baby Drag gets distracted by the Hound as well. Rip. Not that big of a deal. E-Titan will take it out. Minion on the right side. King in front of the Queen. Eagle's locked onto the E-Titan, though. No spell support for the rest of the attack. That's the only downside of these Super Archer blimps. Headhunter helps us get through the King pretty quickly, and we're starting the Baby Lalo from the right side of the base. Here we go. Okay. Queen takes the storage. We got Teslas over there to worry about. No, no big deal. Queen and Unicorn still looking very healthy. Lalo gonna slowly make its way toward the Eagle. We still got the Champion to deploy. We're being very patient with her. Minute 12 on the clock. Eagle trying to think about what to target. It's not sure. We send the rest of our balloons for the monolith. We get the eagle down. We need to get this monolith down. Where are we going to send the champion? Which way does the queen path? Is she going to go toward the multi? I think she might pick up the multi with her ability. Can she get the enemy queen as well? That monolith did not go down. We might need Diggy to stun it. But monolith, warden tower, then the ground bow, then the scatter shot. Queen goes down. I guess she already used her ability. This is looking rough for Yada. We're going to send RC by herself on the left side of the base. Again, just looking for percent. Bro, six attacks in and six defenses. And these are the best teams in the world. That's crazy. That's crazy. Maybe it's the pressure. Maybe their bases are just that good. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? The champion goes down to the expo. Time is running down. Phoenix going to help get this gold storage for 91%. Chasmax still in the lead by one star, though, because of that one star defense. Phoenix going to go down here, and it is indeed a 91. Kazuma is in. And yet again, another chance for Navi to catch back up. Can we see a three star today? They need it really badly. And he's in with Queen Charge Lalo. Okay, going back to his roots, we all know how good Kazuma's Queen Charge is, but he's dropping the Queen straight into a lot of traps, straight into the Barbarian King. We're sending a Headhunter, we're raging right away. We're using a Yeti on the right side of the base to help funnel. Already stressing me out, man. But she's okay. Queen is okay for now. Wall Breaker to give Queen access to the Town Hall, and look at this base with the Rage Tower and the Multi in front of the Town Hall yet again. This looks like it's the new meta. We're seeing both teams building bases like this. So take notes. If you're a base builder or you're looking for a good base, I mean, heck, you might you might as well just copy one of these bases because um, they, they have been doing really well so far today. We're sending a couple hogs. I think he was trying to get the CC pool there, but it's not working. We got to invis the queen. We got to send the king. We got to rage up once more. He's got five freezes. Yo, what? that's a lot of freeze. Oh, that monolith is in range. Bro, that's cracked. Jeez, that monolith doesn't even look like it's in range. He's gonna have to pop queen ability. No, he decides to go with the freeze first. Lower expo is locked onto the king. That allows queen enough time to get back up to full health. But once the monolith locks on, she gets inside the giga poison. CC troops come out. He's gonna have to pop ability here. Hello, tornado trap. Does queen take the monolith? She does, thanks to the ability. That's actually gonna save us from using all of our freezes. But the lava hound goes to the king and the champion's in behind. That is a little awkward, but we just gotta go with it. Look at this wall breaker to the CC building. Gives Queen access to the Eagle and both multis. That's spicy. Kind of wish he had another rage for her, but with just a couple of freezes, he might still be able to make this work. We're going to freeze the Eagle in the left multi. Stone Slammer making its way to the middle as well. Queen going to pick up the second sweeper here. She's going to go toward the Eagle. We're going to freeze once more on that multi that's ready to do double damage because of the rage tower. We still got a warden ability to pop. Queen goes down. Healer's going to switch to the champion. We can get champion inside the warden ability. Ooh, she goes to her ability. When do we pop Warden ability? He's being so patient. Pops it there. Gets the Headhunter in the Warden ability. Look at that. Headhunter going for the Queen. 
More balloons from the top side of the base. Stone Slammer's still alive. Freeze spell in the pocket. We got 45 seconds. Balloons are splitting. Healers get the champion back up to full health. It's looking good for Kazuma to get the first three star in this match. Woo, baby. Queen Charge Lalo gets it done for Kazuma and Na'Vi are back in this. He swags the free spell all over the CC building and pressure on Chazmac EA now. They have to triple if they want to keep their lead by a star. Otherwise, we're all tied up. Equal is in. And if he doesn't triple, the score is going to be equal. He's going in with some Zap Quake to kick things off. And look, he got both spell towers right away. Also picked up an... Was that an Inferno Tower? Interesting Zap value here on Kazuma's base. That seems like really good Zap value. <laughs> is it a base building error? We'll see. Depends on if he triples or not. Hello Skeleton Spell, Giant, Headhunters to help the Queen, King on the south side of the base, Log Launcher, okay, here we go, we're gonna pop King ability, he's gonna go for the Queen, let me take a sip of coffee while he develops the Sui. What can this Log Launcher get? He obviously wants the Expo, he wants the Multi, it's gonna end up pulling CC troops. Where does he expect the Queen to go? Oh, he still has a Golem for the Queen, okay. Couple balloons. He's finding all the Teslas over on the left side of the base. Yeti's coming out of the log launcher. Headhunter's going straight for the queen. Keep an eye on those. He has to drop the poison early for them. And so the log launcher did take out that right side multi, but it did not get the eagle. The queen gets locked onto by the warden tower. We send our champion for the enemy champion with the headhunter. We got a freeze to keep her alive. We have to pop queen ability here. That's a little awkward. We pop champion ability. She's not going to go get that scatter like I think he planned. Oh, I don't know if... I don't think his Sui got as much value as he was expecting. I think he wanted the eagle down. I think he expected the left scatter. Maybe even expected the other multi as well. Because he brought a couple extra wall breakers. He still has another one in, his, in the bag. But let's see how much his Lalo can get. We got to go through the town hall here. No Inferno Towers, no Rage Towers in front of the town hall on this one. So it should be pretty straightforward to at least secure the town hall. There's a Rage Spell. There's the Warden ability at the last second. We still got a Haste. We still got a Freeze. He's got a chance here. One minute on the clock. Time shouldn't be an issue at all. But the Eagle Shells doing a lot of damage to the Balloons. Ooh, that's a little rough. Even with the Freeze on the back end, all the Balloons are dead as we make our way to the core. It's another defense for Na'Vi, and we are all tied up. Who's gonna have the better percent? I think CMG EA still have the better percent. Because they were up by quite a bit. Gaku had like a 65, Stars had like a 75. CMG not able to get this three star. It's gonna fall short here at like 88, 89%. Still pretty decent percent. Really good percent, actually. As he gets that building on the left side, I think he'll get it in time with the archer for 89. Can the phoenix get 90? Yes. 90% attack for equal. But everything is tied up on stars. Nice try to equal here on this one. Phoenix trying to get that eagle, but not going to be able to get it in time. The multi would have killed her anyway. The man, the myth, the legend is in Klausnos. To save the day for Na'Vi, take a look at the scoreboard. It is all tied up. 8-8. Eight to eight. CMG EA have the better percent, so Klaus needs to triple. And then they still need a defense. He's going in with a Skelly Bat Donut. Going for the CC building. Going for the multi, and he gets both. Even picks up one of the Builder Huts. Pre-triggers the Rage Tower. Okay. Okay. What's next? Queen on the south side of the base with the king going toward the queen. Sure. King gonna go inside. We got the ice golem on the enemy queen. Couple balloons as well. Two headhunters right away. So the king's not even gonna have to worry about the queen. The headhunters will take her out beforehand. King dips back out. Then does he go back inside? Queen going to ability super early. Can she get that monolith? Yes, he's gonna use an invis spell to help her out. King not going for the scatter shot. Uh oh. But he's going to send the champion there, so it doesn't matter. Diggy will stun the scatter. The rage tower in the core is recharging. Hello, battle blimp for the town hall. Again, another base with a rage tower and a multi in front of the town hall. So Klaus says, hey, let's just blimp the town hall and get rid of it early. Is it sneaky goblins? It looks like it. Champion in the core is looking good. 
She's got the Diggy to help. She's going for the Eagle, but she already used her ability. Does she go down? Oh, the Expo kills her just before the Expo dies. Town Hall goes down to the Sneaky Goblins. We're freezing the multi, freezing it again. We still got more balloons to send from the top side of the base. We still got an Ice Golem and three Headhunters. And I think he's going to use for the enemy Royal Champion one balloon in the core. One balloon takes out the Eagle Artillery. Did anybody see that? Oh my gosh, you might have to rewind a couple seconds. One balloon from Klaus snipes the Eagle. So it's not going to damage any other, any other balloons in his army here. The Headhunters with the Ice Golem take out the enemy champion. He's able to freeze the scatter shot here. Still has two haste in the bag. That eagle would have already killed most of these balloons if that one other balloon didn't take it out. Phoenix, Warden, Owl, like three balloons in that group. It's all up to them as the other balloons on the right side go down to the air defense. We got two haste. He's going to hasten to the wizard. Can we go to straight to the air defense? No, they're skipping it. But the Phoenix targets the air defense. Warden going to help out. Can they snipe it? Yes, Phoenix still alive. Owl at full health. Klaus is grabbing his head. Does he have it? 35 seconds on the clock. Come on, Warden. Warden and Owl distracting the last Archer Tower. He's got it. Klaus getting it done for Na'Vi. Gets him another three star. They're going to finish with 11 stars after hitting the one star attack. And it all comes down to the final attack. Takana with the final attack of the match. CMG EA have the better percent. But they're down by three stars. This is triple or lose situation for Chazmac EA. And they decide to go with Queen Charge Hog Riders. The bacon to risk it all. Early rage on the queen. Battle blimp for the upper scatter. Gets the CC pool. We're even going to rage that Yeti bomb. Headhunter's going straight for the queen. So we drop the poison spell. The Yeti is getting stuck on a Skelly Trap, so they're not going to take out the champion. But they do clear all the defenses in that compartment. Now Queen has to fight the Hound here for a little bit. Expo's locked onto her. Do we end up having to use another spell here? Not sure. He's looking okay for now. Archers, minion to help get through the pups quickly since we used our poison early. We've only got one healing spell for these Hog Riders. He's got to go all or nothing. Triple or lose situation. The pressure has got to be crazy right now. If I were him, I would be shaking. Coco Loon finds the Seeking Air Mine. That's nice. He wants his queen to go charge the town hall and yet another base with the Rage Tower and the Multi Inferno Tower in front of the town hall. This really does seem to be the meta. Queen taking out the storage. Going to fight the king. We send a headhunter to help support. Ooh, but the raised up multi can hit that headhunter. Down goes the headhunter. Queen still gets through the king, though. I'm a little worried about this pathing. How does he even get queen into the town hall? I guess she has to skip it for a little bit and then get to it from the... Uh... Ooh, queen goes to ability. Eagle locks on to healers. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Did the healers stay alive? Did they stay alive with one HP at least? One shot, two shot, three shot. Every single healer is dead. Eagle locks onto the queen next with the expo. We're going to send king to the town hall, but king's not going into the town hall either. He's full sending the hogs from the top side of the base. The king's not going for the town hall. Do we have anything else to get the town hall? We don't. It doesn't really matter. It's triple or nothing. Oh gosh, the plan is not going to plan for Takana. Navi might just pick up the defense they need to win this match. He pops war and ability on the top side of the base. He uses his one and only heal spell for the hogs. He still has RC ability. He still has two freezes, but there's too much base left. The rage tower by the town hall recharges. This is a one star. He freezes the enemy queen. The monolith locks on. Down goes his champion. Down go all of his hog riders. Down go his hopes and dreams of saving his team in this matchup here today. Na'Vi with the one star defense after they had a one star attack earlier. Na'Vi win the match 11 stars to 10 and they are moving on to the upper bracket semifinals and we're going to see Chazmac EA in the lower bracket. Whoo, how about that?